What's up guys and girls, welcome to another video. In this video, I have a theory that's most likely to happen as it was foreshadowed in God of War 2018, but there is also a lot of evidence in the God of War lore which we are gonna get into. First off, I wanna say thank you. The engagement on the recent videos have been crazy. Thank you all so much for hitting that like button as it's absolutely required on YouTube now, so I really do appreciate it. This video's trivia question is a bit harder than the last ones, but a According to Mamir, after Ymir came into the world, who was the next giant to have followed Ymir into existence? Type your answers now, then at the end of the video, I will give your answers to see if you was right. But let's get right into the video. So as you can tell by the title, I think Kratos and Atreus will fight each other at some point in the story in God of War Ragnarok, and Freya will be the reason. Evidence of this in the God of War lore dates back before the game, before Freya's marriage to Odin, as this exists in the Aesir and Vanir war. As the war went on, the Vanir used magic to repel the Aesir's attacks. Freya's father used mighty winds to blow the Aesir ships over. However, Freya's power during the war, but she messed with the Aesir's minds and forced them to attack and kill each other. We learned this in two places. One, the God of War podcast before the game came out. The Vanir used more subtle means of magic. Led by Freya's sister, Freya, their spells undermine the gods of Asgard at every turn. She used Sather magic to confuse their warriors into attacking one another, while Freya reversed his earlier enchantments to truly blight the lands of Asgard. Their father, Njord, channeled his anger into vicious winds that whipped across the sea, causing the Aesir's travel to last nearly twice as long. And of course, there is a section in Lore and Legends where it talks about Freya using magic to turn allies against one another. The way Cory Barlog loves to create his stories now is he loves to put something at the very beginning of the game so when you reach the end you can look back and be like oh that was there or you notice things that make the ending a little bit more impactful and it makes much more sense. For example, you can actually see Blades of Chaos right in the beginning of the game when Kratos opens the hatch and Atreus is already sitting down there. I believe this is after the Baldur fight. And there are little mentions as well. Um, did you actually know that Loki's name is actually written throughout the house? I think Cory Barlog foreshadowed Atreus going up against Kratos, whether willingly or not. And I think he foreshadowed this several parts throughout God of War 2018. For example, there was a side quest where a captain's son stabbed him in the back and Atreus makes a reference to Kratos' past saying how could uh, a child fight their father um, and obviously this is the story of Kratos' life. But also at the end of the Baldur fight, once you go back into gameplay, once the fight is over, Baldur's dead, uh, there is a line there that Definitely the fan base thought was hinting about a future conflict between Atreus and Kratos in the future, saying that if they would fight, Kratos would die to let Atreus live. Also, this would be the perfect revenge for Freya to do to Atreus. If she were to mess with Atreus' mind and have Atreus see maybe an Aesir god um, in his mind, maybe in his mind when he looks at Kratos, he sees Thor. If you go through lore and legends, there are several moments when Atreus is talking about Thor or Odin or the Aesir in general, and he's being very violent. Um, he's saying that he wants the Aesir to suffer. I made a past video about it, I'll link it at the end of this video as well. But Atreus is very angry at the Aesir gods and really doesn't like them. So if, in his mind, if he would see Kratos as uh, Thor, they he he would attack like instantly. This is who Atreus is becoming. This will also truly put Kratos up to the test. If they would fight, of course Kratos would not fight back. Of course he'd be a defensive fighter in that moment. Uh, and I think this will truly put him to the test. There are so many moments in the God of War 2018 prequel comic where Kratos is constantly battling his rage and it seemed to really calm down during the events of God of War 2018 because we know that he was holding back the entire game. But he would have to reach his son to get rid of this hex that's on his mind. And I, I don't know, I'm getting goosebumps really talking about it to be honest if this moment would actually happen. 
But I think that it will be pretty damn cool. Also, this would be the perfect revenge for Freya. This way, she can actually show us the pain that she felt as Balder hated her and was trying to kill her. And now Atreus is trying to kill Kratos. This is the perfect revenge for her. This is irony at its finest. Now, the theory section of this video, please don't get mad at me for mentioning this again. But what if it really is Kratos at the end of the mural about the moment I'm talking about, right? What if they would go through this fight? Um, remember what Atreus asked Kratos at the end of the Baldur fight. Would you let me kill you? And Kratos said, if you would live, then yes. Um, and I don't know, man. Now that I know that Freya has this ability to turn allies against one another. And obviously she would want to do it on Kratos and Atreus so they can feel the pain that she has felt the suffering that she has felt through Balder I don't know man maybe maybe this fight does actually happen and Kratos does not fight back he's very defensive during their encounter to the point where Atreus is doing severe damage to him and Kratos is just not fighting back and he takes extreme damage obviously he doesn't die Kratos just gets right back up because he is a mortal but this would be a crazy crazy story plot and now that I'm explaining it actually makes a lot more sense this is the tragedy of Kratos's life this is Kratos's life right you have Uranus fighting Kronos Zeus fighting Kronos Kratos fighting Zeus and if this theory is true Atreus fighting Kratos this will finally keep going this cycle of petricide the only difference is Kratos will not follow this line and he will not fight Atreus no matter what Atreus sees in his own mind and I think that this is so fucking cool the evolution of this character of Kratos him constantly changing perhaps Kratos and Atreus are going through some type of conflict between themselves when Freya hexes Atreus and this will make that impact so much more. Uh, let me know what you all think about this theory. Do you think that it's cool? Do you think that it's sad? For me, this is probably one of the most uh, 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 probable theories I think I've ever made on this channel. I think this is really likely to happen because it exists um, in the God of War lore. It follows this Kratos' story. It follows the story of vengeance with Freya and Baldur, Kratos and Atreus. I think that this is so fucking cool. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'm gonna be out of here. Oh, the trivia answer. God damn it. The answer is Surtur. Surtur was the second giant to exist, and he gives heat to the nine realms and space and yada, yada, yada. Anyways, now I will say my intro. I'm gonna be out of here. Thank you guys and girls for listening. Deuces.